Hey there. Have you noticed how the role of women in the defense workforce has been evolving over the years? Absolutely. It's been quite a journey. Women have been breaking down barriers and making significant strides in traditionally male-dominated fields like the military and defense. Definitely. I remember reading about how women initially had limited roles in the military, mostly as nurses or support staff during World War I and II. Right, and even though their contributions were crucial, they weren't always recognized or given the same opportunities as men. It wasn't until later that they started pushing for broader roles. The feminist movements in the 20th century played a big role in that, didn't they? Women demanded equal rights, including the right to serve in combat roles. Absolutely, and it led to significant changes. In 2013, the U.S. Department of Defense lifted the ban on women serving in combat roles, opening up a whole new array of opportunities for them. That was a landmark decision. And it's not just about combat roles. Women have been excelling in leadership positions too. I've read about female generals, admirals, and other high-ranking officers who've shown exceptional leadership. Right, and it's not just about leadership on the battlefield. Women have brought unique perspectives to the table when it comes to defense policy, strategy, and decision-making. Diversity in the workforce often leads to more innovative solutions. Absolutely. Different viewpoints can lead to more well-rounded and effective strategies. I've also heard that having women in the defense workforce can help create a more inclusive and supportive environment. That's true. When organizations actively work to create an inclusive environment, it benefits everyone. It breaks down stereotypes, encourages open-mindedness, and ultimately leads to a stronger team. And it's not just about gender diversity, but also diversity in terms of background, ethnicity, and experiences. All of these factors contribute to a more comprehensive understanding of complex global issues. Definitely. In an increasingly interconnected world, having a diverse defense workforce is crucial. It helps in understanding and addressing various cultural nuances and challenges. While progress has been made, there are still challenges that women face in these fields, right? Harassment and discrimination have been issues, I believe. Unfortunately, yes. While steps have been taken to address these issues, they haven't been completely eradicated. It's important for defense organizations to continue working on creating safe and respectful environments for everyone. Agreed. It's a continuous journey. But it's heartening to see that many countries are actively working to improve the situation. They're investing in recruitment, training, and support systems for women in defense. Absolutely. The more we can encourage young girls and women to consider careers in defense, the closer we get to achieving gender parity in these fields. And it's not just about equality, but also about harnessing the full potential of our human resources. We can't afford to ignore half of the population when it comes to tackling complex security challenges. Well said. It's clear that the role of women in the defense workforce has come a long way, but there is still work to be done. As societies become more progressive and open, I believe we'll continue to see positive changes. I'm optimistic about that too. When we embrace diversity and inclusivity, we create stronger and more effective defense systems. It's a win-win for everyone. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more. Here's to a future where everyone's talents and contributions are valued and respected in the defense workforce. Cheers to that. And let's hope that the conversation about women in defense keeps evolving and inspiring further positive changes.